Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is Betty a True Runner. Welcome back to Fallout 4. You only live once. Well, last time we joined the Brotherhood and set ourselves on fire because I kind of forgot about um, a gas filled corridor, which is uh, mildly unfortunate, but it didn't do that much damage, so uh, what can you do? Now, first things first, today I've been paying attention to the comments, and one thing in particular I've managed to find a bit of a solution for. So, here's the thing. I didn't really have a plan for this originally because I wasn't really expecting this to happen, but uh, Chameleon Gear is pretty much the best thing I could have hoped for, and I got some really, really early on. But unfortunately, while it's really useful for, you know, sneaking, sniping, all the rest of it, it's kind of annoying because it messes up all sorts of things visually. In particular, yeah, when you go into stealth, there's this weird kind of bloomy effect. And then there's also the noise where it goes kind of ka-ching and ka-ching. It's not a ka-ching at all. I've no idea how you vocalize that noise, but it's an annoying noise. So, um, luckily, I've found a mod that sorts that out. So now, if I go into stealth, all I do, if I just kind of uh, crouch right now is, uh, I'm now invisible. So... Uh, no noise, no flash, no nothing. Gameplay-wise, everything is exactly as it was. So there is no difference in terms of gameplay. It just means we don't have to deal with the noise or the visual effects. So I'd say that's a big improvement. I'll link to the mod in the description below. And because, yeah, it makes no difference to gameplay in any way whatsoever, I consider that legit within the rules of the challenge. It doesn't entirely fix the, um, the Pip-Boy, by the way. It's maybe slightly more legible just a little bit anyway okay it doesn't fix everything but it deals with the stuff that's annoying for you that's the important bit so today we're gonna kick off with what we were supposed to be kicking off with you know last week but then i got distracted and set myself on fire we're going to meet up with deacon to take care of tradecraft and uh, oh bloody hell right if i've got you know the same amount of health at the end of this episode as i've got right now it's gonna be a miracle because uh, this is just one of those missions I kind of expect to uh, cause a bit of trouble. Okay, daytime weather is good. Step one, just uh, head north through College Square. Might be a few more ghouls we can pick off nice and easy. So yeah, we'll just uh, head through here. Though, to be honest, we cleared out most of this last time. So it should be pretty much a-okay. Here we go. Just a small handful dotted about. Nothing dramatic here. Take you. I'm going to be honest. I was kind of expecting you to... Never mind. I was really expecting you to die. But that's all absolutely fine. You can just uh, go down. As can you. Sorry, just uh, wait a second actually. And uh, can you hop down by the way? I'm not 100% sure you can. We'll just uh, take you out regardless. There we go. Nice, smooth, easy. When I say nice, smooth, easy, just slightly messed it up there. Still, I'll be helping myself to a few uh, bits and pieces off these raiders that were kicked out of Cambridge. Shan't say no to... Oh, yeah, Stimpaks. Stimpaks equals money. And three frag grenades right at the back of this truck here too. I shan't say no. Things seem to be... Uh, Pretty peaceful. I already sniped off like a couple of these guys. That's just frag mines, so they're 100% safe. We'll grab them on the way out. I think we're golden. I can hear something, but the brackets are looking. Toy rocket chip, that's a screw. Never say no to a screw. That's oil. Oh, yes. Just start getting used to uh, what to look for. And seriously, maybe stop picking up so many throwables, because... Uh, I'm just not using them at the moment. And don't worry, don't forget, mines uh, can no longer detonate. They are now completely safe thanks to, uh, what was it, sneak two or three? I can't remember, but some form of sneak means now uh, these are just mine, which is lovely. And for safety, I'll head around the rear of Corvega, because, yeah, that tends to be a bit on the, um, uh, the quiet side. And I've already kind of passed through this area, so uh, it should be uh, pretty much that is just cows. That is absolutely fine. In fact, if anything, I do you want to pick them off for uh, meat? I've got five ribeye steaks, two grilled rad stacks, plenty of other bits and pieces. Uh, I'll leave it for now. I feel like I've got enough food and plenty of looting yet to be done. Oh, um, slight, slight potential issue. Yes, I'd forgotten about that. Right, Rad Scorpion, run, basically. Because right now the Rad Scorpion is attacking not me, but the cows, which is good. Yes, I'd forgotten about him. Oh, yeah, he's he's maybe a bit of a, a concern. Yes, that, that. Okay, good. 
good, good, good. Yes. Okay. The um, when I say this here, this is the safe route to go. No, this is the uh, this is the opposite of the safe route to go. This is the route you never go, because, yes, Rad Scorpion can sometimes... Right, okay, good, 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 good. Good start, good start. Forgot about that Rad Scorpion, who uh, I'm pretty sure someone in the back of my mind I knew about. Yes, I knew there was a reason I hadn't gone that route when I was going down that way. Okay, so basically, never go near there again, because Rad Scorpions will just chase you down to the ends of the earth forever, and they'll never, ever cocking stop. Okay, there's a handful of rad roaches over here, and I can take out some of these if I want to. The question is, uh, any legendaries by any chance? Because I'm seeing the quantum up there, though admittedly, uh, I'm not really going to be using them. Too many rads. Okay, we've got another rad roach right there. No sign of legendaries, so I'll just leave them be, to be honest. Okay, 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 okay. So, step one... Yeah, we need to uh, meet up with Deacon, but let's just say I'm going to be doing this mission in a bit of a um, an order order. Watch out for, I think I just saw a handful of, uh, yeah, dogs. No need to make any trouble with them. Just keep on keeping on. And then we should be getting, yes, very close by to Deacon, who of course, yes, as he's part of this quest, we are allowed to travel with because... You literally can't not. Well, actually, you can. If you've got uh, Master Hacking, you can just go into this mission because you can hack the terminal normally that uh, he hacks in the basement and... Uh, what was that up there? There was something. There's something going on up there. You know what? Doesn't involve me. Just uh, leave it be. Lovely to see you, Deacon, by the way. Nice to have a companion again, albeit very briefly. Handful of ghouls on the bridge, by the way, but to be honest, it's, yeah, Deacon can uh, very handily take care of them. I tried to get as much XP as I could, but uh, honestly, he deals with them pretty efficiently. Oh, military grade duct tape. Oh, Christmas has come early. So, next up, we need to speak to the tourists, but before we do, we need to be ready because this guy is going to have a speech check and potentially a very useful one if we could pass it. So, uh, it's time to dress up properly. Fashionable glasses, militia hat, and replace all of my lovely gear with the red dress. Which means immediately, of course, I lose my stealth because I'm no longer wearing the thing that gives me stealth. Though actually, I do get to keep my arms, which is the advantage of the, um, the red dress. It only covers your legs and torso slot, which is pretty darn good, all things considered. Now that brings me to a charisma of 7. So 3 plus 4 off my gear. That is... Okay, it's kind of okay because uh, this guy is going to give me a variety of speech checks. If you want to guarantee that you pass a yellow, you need 9. If you want to guarantee you pass an orange, it's 10. For red, it's 11. For every one that you're off that, you deduct 15% from your chance to succeed. So uh, there's going to be an orange check in this conversation uh, I want to pass. So uh, I am going to be 3 short of that, minus 45%, so uh, just over a coin flip that we're going to be able to make this happen because uh, I would like ideally to, yeah, get him on side in terms of uh, a bit of an upcoming fight because uh, let's, uh, let's very quickly talk about this area before we go and have a chat to uh, this guy. We're looking down over at, uh, where's the, where's the Stoke and Joe's? That's it. That's it over there. There's something a little bit uh, on fire. So uh, he can help us uh, by doing a bit of sniping, taking out all of the synths. Now, we don't need to do that. We can just bypass this. But at the end of the day, uh, we'll be coming up into that building's basement. So uh, if we don't deal with the synths now, we need to deal with them later in close quarters. That's that's not so good. I'd rather snipe them off now if I can. So uh, let's see if we're going to be getting lucky on this one. So here we go. We can tell him to make a distraction, which involves actually him pretty much blowing himself up, which is, uh, to be honest, not really that useful. Sniper fire or extra supplies. And what I really, really want is uh, the sniper fire. We're assaulting the base. Once we strike, use your rifle to pick off anyone you can see. A lot of lives are depending on us. So oh, good. We got it. We flipping oh, got wow. it. And I think we can just, just about see one of them moving in here. So, uh, okay. If I could get a shot off at them from here, start picking them off. Just, 
I'm a bit worried about the hitboxes here. I'm a bit worried about, you know, falling to my death as well. So just try and line up a, uh, a good shot through the window. If at all, that looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. Just wait and... Let's caution. Okay, they're starting to move out. They're starting to move out here. And I see you right there. Still caution. Wait. Oh, that was a good shot. Should have taken that one. I had the chance. Back to hit him. There we go. Finally, actually got a hit. There was really a hit. Though from this range, I can't even vats them. So uh, I can't check how much uh, health they've got. But from this distance, I should be able to do uh, something. I'm just a little bit concerned about... There we go. There's a good hit. Right, there's one dead. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to find me at this range. And if they choose to blind fire... I don't have much confidence they've got a chance of hitting me. And wait. There's 2.5 right there. Wait, darn it. Just a little bit slow on the reload. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Still in caution, mind. Two done. There's a one upstairs. Because if so, I'm not seeing the movements. Yeah? Are we good? I think we're good, because yeah, there's a bit of a minefield down here, which is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, free mines. Just stay away from uh, that side of town, because that side of town is the side of town with the guy, with the nuke launcher, who just magically knows where you are. So, uh, okay, that's good enough for now. I think I'm happy to start uh, moving in, me and Deacon. Oh, those mongrels I decided to ignore, we're going to actually be uh, passing by them anyway. So, bloody, yeah... Plenty of bushes in the way. Uh, Deacon, would you mind terribly? Because there's there's a few of them over there. And one and two. And a... John, put your armor back on. Always bloody forget to put my armor back on. And the nice thing is these dogs have actually topped up my, uh, my critical meter. Just the three. Just the rain. Okay, we're golden. It's dark. We should be able to move uh, pretty carefully uh, at this point. This is... Uh, this should all be fine, probably. Oh, and I won't say no uh, to double rad stack meat, so we'll just cook that up later. That's some good stuff. Okay. Time to start moving in. Uh, nice and careful. Uh, not to, you know, where the game's saying you ought to go. Uh, over here to the tunnel. No, no, no. We need to clear out the, um, uh, the front door first. So, uh, just move in. Uh, nice and slow and careful. And I'll tell you what. This right here. This looks good. We're pretty close. I wouldn't mind having, you know, uh, the high ground. So, uh, into Lexington. Sneak up top of this here building. We'll see what uh, what happens next. And, yeah, this should give us a, a bit of a good view down uh, to where we want to go. So, yeah, there we go. That is the donut shop. Right there. And... Okay. That's... That's Ricky. I mean, I knew he kind of went to go and get involved. I kind of assumed he was going to be in a, you know, more of a defensive position. Like, you know, snipery. Like, maybe this rooftop that I'm on. Right here. But I'll tell you what. You, my friend, uh, you need to be taken out. So we're just going to destroy that. There's caution. Now, is that going to draw anything towards the door? Because if anything runs towards the door at this point, Ricky's got me covered. So, this is why I wanted him here, just in case of emergencies, because, uh, yeah, when he kind of says, sniper, he doesn't really mean it, and I just heard another turret deactivate. There's a turret. Oh, bloody hell, where is it? I'm not 100% where it is, but I think that's what we're now uh, looking for and waiting on. I just need to find uh, the other turret. It might be deeper inside. Oh, I can't remember where it is. We've taken out the um the locals. Ricky's now here. I don't know if he despawns uh, if I actually, you know, uh, go into uh, the dungeon proper. But whatever happens, decent start. There it is. I can see it right ahead of me. So as I've actually got a shot at it from about here. I don't know if the hitbox is going to behave. But detected. Uh, hit him. Well, I'm not in caution, so I think there we go. 
Ricky now feels like his uh, his job's done, which is a good sign the front door has been cleared out. Hey, Ricky. You should get the hell out of here and don't look back. We haven't actually done the mission yet, Ricky, but thanks for your concern. So, there we go. First few bits and pieces taken care of. Shan't say no to uh, good loot off turrets. Thank you very, very much indeed. Fuses well, excuse me. No, no, no. Fuses will do. And I shot myself two fusion cells. I know I could pick up uh, various uh, weaponry off the synths for even more fusion cells. But because it weighs stuff, I think I've kind of got, you know, enough. To be honest, I feel like I've definitely, in fact, got enough. So, uh, from here, we can just go downstairs. We are golden. Don't forget the cake pans. I believe that's actually um, uh, plastic times three. But yes, it turns out the elevator has been uh, locked down. So, as a result of that, you can't do anything here anyway. So, uh, Regardless, we just need to go in the, uh, the secret awesome secret agent special tunnel entrance. Or rather, we don't. Or rather, rather, we will, but not just this second, because, uh, before we go in, I need a new toy. Or rather, I need to reclaim an old one. Because just up the road from where we are is Drumlin Diner. can actually sell some, uh, medicine and whatnot there, which is very good, and, uh, Beyond there, you remember once upon a time, we found this stuff called uh, Power Armor. Yeah, now's the time to go and get that back. It really is just up the road too, so you kind of may as well just nip back here, do a quick, uh, yeah, shopping trip. Just clear out a bit of weight with the medicine and whatnot on your way past to uh, the Power Armor, which admittedly is going to be a little bit low on the old uh, fusion core, but hopefully it'll be enough. Yeah, I'm just going to trade in my medicine for some good light bits of junk and a solid top-up of ammo. That'll do. And yes, if I recall correctly, we dumped the, um, uh, the power armor behind the church here. We jumped down, uh, then immediately, uh, dumped the stuff. So, uh, it should still be... Yes, yes it is. Together with the, um, uh, the minigun, uh, which we also don't need. But I could actually, uh, I mean, that's a huge amount of ammo. I mean, I tell you what, I'll do some trading and selling of that with Trudy. So, into the flipping power armor we go. Now, uh, this is a really interesting tactical decision you've got to make in Fallout 4. And by the way, I've now got a huge amount of strength, so we can just be picking up uh, all of this. And we'll just be flogging it to Trudy in a second. And uh, now I think about it, actually. Is the, um, is the death claw still here? Because I'm pretty sure I left the... The fat man launcher on his corpse. So if that's despawned, has the oh, I might have accidentally. That's just a leaf. I might have accidentally despawned the um uh, the fat man launcher without meaning to, which would be kind of unfortunate. But what can you do? Oh, and we got trouble on our way back to Trudy. Hang on, that's two. It's just settlers. Whatever they were taken out, they killed it. So, uh, honestly, good news means I don't have to flip and deal with it. The slight, slight, slight issue we've got here is, yes, the complete lack of, uh, much in the way of, uh, a spare fusion core. So, uh, okay, I've got half a plan in mind for that, which might work potentially. Oh, yeah, 1,340 bullets means 1,340 caps. Though, to be honest, I'm not really sure she's going to have... Uh, she's got a fusion core. Well, 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 haven't all of my problems just been solved? So, yeah, I can sell her about maybe half the ammo and the minigun. And that's actually going to get me a spare fusion core, which is going to help out a flipping lot. And honestly, yeah, I'll take the more valuable but light stuff, like, say, a gold-plated flip lighter. We'll be having some of that just because... Uh, Kind of need to, you know, get rid of this bloody ammo. I don't flip and need it, and I'm not going to be running into a shop for some time. Well, I've kind of got everything I need, so I guess I'll just take all of that. And yeah, she kind of got a bit of a good deal there. But at least I got the spare fusion core, because uh, I'm really glad you had that, Trudy. We kind of needed it. Oh, and Deacon's actually followed me this far out. That's nice of him. So, here's the thing about, yes, the tactical decision you need to make in Fallout 4, which is uh, when you're wearing power armor, you've got an absolute flip ton of damage resistance and energy resistance too. 
Specifically, I've now gone up from, yeah, about um, 40 odd energy resistance to 370, meaning the amount of damage reduction I'm going to be taking from the average shot I might be hit by in the upcoming base has gone from about maybe 40% up to about 85% or thereabouts. So uh, if I get hit, it's gonna hurt a lot less. So John, I hear you cry. Why wouldn't you just, you know, use flipping power armor all the time by prioritizing getting hold of fusion course? Well, because when you're in power armor, none of the armor that you're wearing counts for anything. So legendary effects, shadowed, muffled, all the rest of it, they just don't count because they're trapped inside the armor. Only what you've done to the armor counts for anything. So as a result of that, yes, I'm going to be a lot less sneaky, but a lot better protected if I get spotted. So I'm kind of choosing whether I want to try and stay sneaky or accept that's going to be so difficult and there's probably going to be a firefight that I may as well just minimize the damage I take when I inevitably take a tiny bit of damage. And in this dungeon, that's the one I'm going for. I feel like just minimizing damage rather than avoiding it, that's the sensible play. So, into the real entrance of the dungeon, right here, here we go, the beautiful, beautiful sewer entrance. Everybody loves a sewer entrance. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. Yeah, I notice, because we're already in caution, which really concerns me, actually. So just... Yeah, I know. They're conceptually aware of me. Oh, this might have been... Maybe this was a mistake. Okay, I don't know if maybe I should try giving it a go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the armor here for now. I think the first handful of rooms I can do better without the armor. We're going to come and pick up the armor, however, at uh, one particular moment when everything is definitely going to go to hell. Okay, Deacon gets the door. And now we get to see what we're... Uh, dealing with because yeah this used to be their base and Someone then it was the uh, slightly here. slightly you know stormed by the institute still that does mean there's some good corpses around here for looting and i can get a view uh, as to what we're taking on so i'm seeing one basic synth down over that i'm pretty sure there's another one too and yeah the problem is Deacon's presence is kind of annoying, because Deacon being here means, yeah, I can see you. So, honestly, just fire at you, and then straight away fire at you. Unless, of course, you're already... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'm kind of surprised to see a basic synth, to be honest. Like, I'm level 17. I'm expecting to start seeing nastier stuff showing up sooner rather than later. Okay, hidden for now. Everything appears to be calm. The first few rooms tend to be pretty on the the peaceful side. There's just a handful of like, you know, tutorials for rail signs and hello over there. Don't worry, that's all absolutely fine. Idiosavon triggers at the dumbest possible moment. That's still worth basically naff all, but uh, what can you do? Hey, always watch out for the old rad roaches spawning out of corpses. Right, nothing else round here, I don't think. So, uh, straight on uh, to the next. And here we go. Yep, that means cash. And I believe it is uh, hidden inside the back of this hip pipe. There we go. So, uh, bad and... Okay, completely garbage. That was complete, total garbage. And moving up here. Just be ready for trouble. Potentially. And yeah, we see Deacon. Do not push me into cocking flashlights. Flashlights are actually important in this game. While you're inside, the game generally says, uh, well, if you're wearing shadow, then I suppose you're shadow. That makes sense. But if you're spotted by a flashlight, shadow no longer counts for uh, anything. And... Okay. They're slightly aware of me, which is a concern. Just get over here. My scanners must be malfunctioning. Good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the light, which is actually benefit. Deacon. Deacon, please. Deacon, come on. All right. I agreed to bring you along, but let's not flipping block the way I need to retreat. 
potentially. Hostile sensor reading detected. Oh, 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 Deacon! Deacon, what are you- Deacon, what are you doing? Deacon! Deacon, why are you- Deacon! What the cock was that? Deacon! You just fired! We hadn't begun the fight! Okay, Deacon's a cocking liability. Deacon is an absolute cocking liability, and he's just going to... Okay, good. Well, I'm so glad. I'm so glad Deacon's here. I'm so flipping glad Deacon's shown up. Oh, bloody hell. Right, where's the... Where are the scents? Just, just go for the leg. And... Okay, well, this is all. Everything's... I'm so glad that Deacon has shown up here today. Deacon is... And now he's going to retreat. Now he's going to retreat in the tunnel and lead them straight to me. So this is... I hate Deacon. I hate Deacon so much. Okay, this is... This is fine. I want to say this is fine. Deacon is... Having started the fight, he's now backing away and is not going to... He's gone over to a different weapon. A much worse weapon. This is... Deacon, please. For the love of God, you're actually screwing everything up right now. There's two of them. There's two of them in the room. I don't want to be burning criticals in this room. This room is actually a fairly easy room, all things considered. And where are you? Okay, go. Okay, one goes down. Yes. And come on. Seriously. And no, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Still caution. There's two down over there. You're already dead, which is good. You're not aiming at me, which is fine. And yes, these guys, even though they're robots, the game, as far as it's considered, says, you know what, that's a-okay. If you actually hit them in the head, that counts for bonus damage. So that normally isn't true for robots. So one and two and down you go and then back away. There's, there's more, yeah. I've got enough AP for the time being. He's now blocking the corner that I would like to uh, like to use. I'm just going to go back over in this direction for a second. This is slightly more than I was expecting. He's now down on the ground. Good. Good, good, good. I'm just... I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled Deacon is, is here. Okay. Wait. Wait. I'm going to need to burn the crits. And... Nope, never mind. Deacon's back up, so I'm now overtired. Oh, that's less good. Right, now we're actually losing strength. And... Um, Deacon's now giving me lore, despite the fact the robots aren't dead yet. This is... Everything's... Everything's fine. Just go over to the bloody suppress. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Right, there's there's got to be more here yet, right? Yes, just, just take you out. Right, you can just go down. Shot to the legs. Was that the last one? Did you take out one a second to go? Okay, that was needlessly harder than it had to be because of cocking Deacon. There's another one back there, actually. Uh, okay. Just wait for a good shot. Yeah, take that. The leg. That's the last one. Down he goes. Nice thing about synths, by the way, is yes, if you take out a leg, they will go down, guaranteed, but they'll keep firing. Take out their gun arm if they're holding a pistol, or either arm if they're holding a two-handed rifle, they can't fire anymore. So, uh, one arm, one leg, and a synth is neutralized. It's kind of like a ghoul on the ground, it just can't do anything. Though, uh, that's only going to be relevant against a uh, much bigger, tougher synth. Generally, uh, they're going to uh, die before that point anyway. Be very careful, by the way. Because if I accidentally click on the water, I'm going to drink it. And that would be really, really flipping bad. We don't want that to happen. Actually, no. Okay, next room's a bit easier. Because in the next room, yes, as Deacon's about to tell me, I can hack the terminal, turn the turrets, and have a little bit of extra fire support, which will soften them up before I actually get in there. So, uh, that does mean standing up and breaking stealth, unfortunately. But what can you do? And yes, I don't need my uh, holo tape because... Uh, the turrets are already under my control, so that's all absolutely fine. So just back off for a second, and in a moment the turrets will do their own thing. The turrets won't last long, but they'll do something. And maybe back off, there we go. He immediately says, well, must have been nothing. It was just the wind, it must have been a rat. So, okay. Now Deacon's probably about to ruin everything. I'm starting to wish I brought a recon scope, by the way. I love a recon scope. Use shadows, by the way. Shadows can be very helpful because shadows can give you... Uh... Yep, yeah, there you go. I know the location of that guy because of shadows. Now, uh, is it just him? And also, I'm in a tight spot right now. So, okay, I've got a plan. Molotov cocktails, uh, no, no. Frag grenades, uh, maybe. Because that might be the best option right now. He seems to be kind of stuck on a step. So, uh, is it just him? 
It appears to just be him. I'm not going to toss the grenade. I'm just going to go for it. Yep, there you go. And just no. No, seriously. Seriously, faster. Fa oh! Okay. That was a tiny hit there. That was fine. I should have that's cancelled. Uh, no matter. Alright. This is the thing about synths. There's 10 million of them. But they really don't hit hard. So that's... That's two damage. Right there. And this time... Uh, for whatever reason... Oh. For whatever reason... Uh, yeah. Deacon is much less happy with running forward. Oh! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Bloody hell! Crit! 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 Crit him! Whew! Okay, this is this is fine. Everything's under control, by which I mean it's not go over to penetrating for a bit more power. And Deacon, seriously, what are we doing here, Deacon? Why are you not going ahead? Because I feel like that one, that was on you. And Deacon is... He just keeps blocking me so I can't move. Okay, this is, this is fine. That was a bit of a waste of a crit. But what can you do? There we go. He's given up. And using sound, he's somewhere over to my left. So he's pretty far back in this room. But again, I can use uh, shadows to uh, give me a rough idea of location. In fact, where's he gone? Where is he? I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure yet. That's Deacon, which doesn't help me. There he is. Right, so one good shot to the torso. Puts you down. Job done. Okay, now that is caution but almost gone already. Just wait. Patience. Mm. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. I think he might be back in... Where is he? I'm a bit concerned there's one I don't know the location of, but I think he might be the next room over. I just heard the gunshot, but that was... Yeah, the brackets are being less helpful right now for the simple reason I can't tell whether it's a synth or deacon, Who's almost attacked me? I think he's through there. So I think we're, we're okay for now. I just be ready. Help myself to more of this nonsense. And he's not there right now. Okay, this is... This is fine. I'm going to say this is fine. Just use the third person camera. And there is... There's definitely nothing in the tunnel. Okay, tunnel is fine. Let's just loot the corpses. All right, round we go. Plenty of ammo. Everything's fine. But I think this might be the point where I decide to uh, change over to, uh, yes, armor. Once we go through here, we're starting to get into uh, very nasty territory. Like, seriously nasty territory. And can I even hit you from here? I don't think I can. But Vats is saying I've got a chance to... I'll give it a go. No, no, it's not. Okay, just, just back in the tunnel, please. Uh, yeah, you definitely can't shoot through that. Vats is just wrong. Like, I knew you couldn't, but Vats was saying, well, you got a chance to hit, and sometimes Vats just lets you shoot on places. Maybe with Penetrator, you can. I'm not sure. Okay, this is the moment I want the armor. I'm about to be shot, okay? It's going to happen. That is just a thing that's going to happen. And if I'm going to be shot, then what I want is armor. So I'm going to go get the cocking armor. Okay, bare minimum, scan the room. Basic synth. So we can take him down, no problem. In fact, we might be able to take him down before anybody else realizes what's going on. So, uh, yeah, this is where things are going to start going uh, dicey, by the way. Like, this is just going to turn into... Wow, that was... that was lucky. Right, so... Uh, Open you up. Alright, just sort that out. And... Okay, there's Deacon who's gonna... Oh, blimey hack. Now can we shoot you? By the way, in fact, you know what? Actually, funnel them. Alright, that that's gonna work. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna funnel them right here. I'm gonna put you right there. So there's gonna be a mine. Now I'm gonna be able to shoot through a security grate. I might well be allowed to shoot through... You know, uh, the rest of it. Uh-oh, flip, flip, flip to Deacon, Deacon, flip me. Okay, this is all fine. This is, everything's under control. I didn't want them to walk this way. So, where's the boom? Does anybody know where the bang is? Because there, there should have been a bang. My scanners must be 
like loud bang from robot walking into mine, which I just laid. Um, does anyone, anyone know about the bang? There should have been a bang. There's there's not a bang. Okay, this is not entirely okay. Now I'm going back to a laid mine, which like fireworks is a thing you shouldn't do. There's no no not him. Yeah, you know what? Take it. And go. That is a good bullet right there. In the rear. Back. Deacon, do not get in my way. If they want to come and investigate in this direction, one of them has to walk straight into uh, the mine. That's a good starting point for this room. In fact, I'm kind of surprised we're able to stealth this room. Where is he? I should see him. Where's the other one? I don't know. He's somewhere around here. Well, he must have walked in this direction. I'm now worried by the mine. Because if he rushes me, then... Oh. Can I shoot through this window? No, not the frag mine! Can I shoot through the window? Yes, I can. Well, that's just bloody convenient. I know there's a third. He's up at the top of the steps. And no, not the mine! Okay. Oh, bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. But Deacon! Deacon! Deacon, what the co... How many times, Deacon, are you going to cocking screw me over today? Where is he? And he's going to walk this way. If he walks this way, we blow him up. He might not be able to. Maybe he can't make it out into this hallway. Maybe he's got a bit of a limit on his uh, roam range. If he makes it to this door, he's going to blow up. Where's he gone? I am equipped with the most advanced and... Excellent. Okay. I don't see him. No, I think he is the third and the last. No. There he is. I see him in the distance. And... Uh, oh, he's a basic. Oh, fine. Okay, then. And... Wait. Didn't need the mine. Okay. I'll flip and take that as a starting point. But... Okay, it's... um, It's about to get nasty. Uh-oh. 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 Seriously, Deacon! Deacon! What are we doing? Why do I keep saying Deacon? Okay, this is... Uh, I kind of thought that was it. I kind of thought it was um, those three. So he hasn't found me yet. He's just shooting at Deacon. There's... Uh, okay, he's up in the top. Um, Might be able to get a light tap in if Deacon wants to draw the fire. Boom! Go! Dead. Is that the lot? Okay, he said a voice line. That's probably a good flipping sign. Excellent. Okay, don't forget to loot because, yes, another fusion core right here. So, plenty to keep me going because burning AP with VAT shots, that really eats your fusion core. I'll be taking the bear, thank you. And I believe that is, uh, yeah, about your lot here. Just work upstairs. And uh, everything's fine for now, but yes, we haven't got to um, through that door yet. When we get to through that door, that's that's when it's a party. On the plus side, though, US covert operations. So uh, because that's actually a permanent perk, that still applies even in a power armor. It's not much. It's like um four percent to your increase in effectiveness at sneaking, but it's most certainly better than nothing. Okay, I have got a crit, and I'm some of the way towards the next. Deacon's here, though he's a cocking liability. Open the door, and yes, what we need to do is not draw attention to ourselves, and okay, choice. Ultimately, we want to go in this direction. There are things in this direction, but I might just be able to maybe just completely get around them. Please, by the way, don't, don't just walk forward and trigger all of this. I'd really appreciate it. If you didn't. Because. Okay. This is this is fine. Yeah, I see you. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is all fine. It's time. Grenade. That was a mine. Sorry. I kind of forgot I had mines set. There's now, there's now a mine over there. And now if I toss a grenade, uh, there's quite a risk that that's going to. Good. Good, good, good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire a shot. 
John, that's a silent shot. Okay, I'm gonna fire a shot made of light, which makes more noise. Seriously. There we go. Now you've figured it out. Now you're gonna walk straight to that mine, aren't you? Please walk into the mine. Please, please walk into the mine and... Why is the mine not detonating? Is there a particular reason the mine is not... I'm feeling let down by my mines right now. Okay, grenades it flipping is. Because bloody hell. Bloody cocking hell. This is, this is getting stressful. Okay, just, there is a mine right there. Maybe because they're not hostile. Grenade. Go. That was a good position. Okay, that was a good amount of uh, stuff right there. That's definitely got their attention because one of them's just died. Uh, and... Uh, just keep some distance between me and Deacon. It's not that stealthy, to be honest. I'm tossing cocking grenades. Okay, just, just be ready. Just be ready. What's next? And I don't want the mine to go. No, not him. The oh, flip me. Um, yeah, go for two. One. And I should have axed cancelled already, but whatever. Seems to be fine. Uh oh. No! Okay. This is fine. If you want to... Did... Okay, so now the mine's gone off. They're now very much aware of the... Now there's also gunfire. This is this is all fine. Everything's... How about we just close the doors and hide? Okay. They gave up pretty fast then. Which is nice. Which is very nice. Do you want to go over to proper... Proper guns? I mean, this is... This is fine. Okay, do not forget to cocking vats cancel. Take your shot, then back out. How are we doing, by the way? I still don't have two crits, which stresses me out a lot, actually. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, I see you. I see you. Take it. Sneak. And we golden? I think we're golden. Because, yeah, I think there's a handful more through there, but it's mainly just loot. I think we can just crack on as we are for the moment. We're fine. Everything is under flipping control. By which I mean, oh, we're about to get into even flipping more. And wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is fine. This is all fine. I'm parched again. Deacon, please, if I start running, do not get in my way. And hang on, just, just double check here. Frag grenades are sat. It's kind of what we need. We're not going to stay stealthy here. Go straight over to penetrating. Okay, and go. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. And why the wire? Well, I'm not seeing a terminal I can use for anything. So, oh, is it the other side? I can't remember. It's fine. Everything's under control. Uh, third person. Camera. Okay. And yeah, we just need to get round over there. But there's going to be... There's going to be defences. Where the cock are they? Well, I find this very unnerving. Also, just keep eating and drinking. I know there's supposed to be people, because this is the cocking vault. Right, just... Wait. Wait. Round over here. That's my destination. Round there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. There's my destination. This is... Surprisingly... Quiet. Okay, I see you over... Ah. There's the terminal. Okay. And... Lower limb actuator damaged. When you say damaged, who damaged ya? Because I haven't damaged ya. Okay, this is... Everything's fine. Everything is... Is fine. Everything's under control. I need to uh, speed this up, by the way, because I am now up to stage three of uh, exhaustion, which is uh, 
actually uh, a bit of a problem, potentially. So we need to just make this happen, like, sooner rather than later. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start using mines uh, to my advantage, because I know there's going to be stuff down over here. So I'm going to put one mine right there. I'm going to put another mine right here. If anything tries uh, to follow me through uh, from the earlier areas, then uh, we're just going to take them out with mines. I believe uh, there are going to be uh, a couple of enemies up in this direction in the final room. This is the elevator that won't actually be active yet, but if we can clear it now and potentially draw a bit of attention... Where are you? I think there's... I see you. Yeah, I see you. That's fine. One and two. Down you go. And now maybe should have laid an actual extra mine. There's the synth leader. And now, now, now there's fire. Um, this is, this is fine. Did, did Deacon take them? I think Deacon took them. Okay, so we're back down to uh, Stealthy. Juice, take out the flipping... The leader, by the way, because to be honest, I thought the leader was in that room, not in the final room, because this is more like, you know, the Skyrim door room than anything else, but whatever. No, these are basic synths. The synth leader is very much still alive, so okay. He needs to be taken out with, uh, yeah, explosives, crits to the head, whatever it flipping takes. Grab the mine, otherwise I'll probably blow myself up and be ready. There you go. Synth, and I've got two crits. Do it. Honestly, just take them out. I don't know how many we've got here. And the synth leader is coming in. Prepare to fall back to a corner. There he is! That's... No! I was just shot. I've definitely been shot. And that was another six right there. Okay, I'm just going to start tossing grenades at the corner. Uh, to be honest, at this point, we're just... I, I can't even see. But, like, they're going to be coming sooner or later. So... I'm just going to... Right, well, Deacon's, Deacon's down the ground. They're not sure there's danger anymore, which is interesting, and disappeared. Deacon's back up on his feet, somehow. There's another six damage I just took, by the way. Uh, Deacon, we need to take this bastard out. Where is he? He should be... He's retreated around the corner. Uh, does anyone know where he flipping is? I don't know how he lost us, but he did. And... Oh, there he goes. And how have we... How have we not detected... Just take him out. One, and cancel, and two, and go. That's the power of that's cancelling. Okay, I completely got shot there, didn't I? Just a little bit. This here, this is why we brought the flipping armor. Because I figured there was a good chance precisely that was about to happen. And he's going to open up that. No problem whatsoever. And uh, on top of that... Okay... Is any of this worth grabbing? Because, to be honest, that's... Okay. Now we start getting into another big choice that we need to make during uh, Yearn Live Once, which is, uh, at some point, armor becomes uh, completely redundant. Alright, so this armor is uh, 14 and 11 in terms of damage resistance, but it gives me agility and perception, which is really, really good. But that's now as good as that can ever be in terms of damage resistance. This, however, is 15 and 15, when it has not been improved to anywhere near as much as it could be. So, uh, that's also, yeah, 4.8 versus, wow, 11.6. Sooner or later, you just have to accept that some gear is going to become redundant. You can't change that. But, lightweight down with left leg. Hang on, my left leg is... Uh, my legs are where the important stuff is, isn't it? And that is... Uh, yeah, powered. 99 AP refresh, that's... That's only metal. Metal's pretty basic anyway, so that's not so important. But I might take that with me. I might be tempted to change over. And I get given the deliverer. Now, this one's a bit of a funny one. Because I've always said you're not allowed to have any, like, you know, guaranteed legendary spawn. This one you could, if you want to, rule lawyer and say, you know what? Though it's a 10mm that's got VATS enhanced on it, it's blatantly not a 10mm because it's a unique gun. Because it's got stats that a 10mm can't have. It's got its own unique model. It's its own unique thing. Personally, I think that's kind of cheating. And it's a pistol. Just to make sure everyone's satisfied, I'm following, you know, the complete spirit of Fallout 4 You Only Live Once. I'm not going to be using it because, to be honest, 
It's a pistol anyway. They're not really what I'm using, though. This thing is a beast, and if you decide that you are comfortable using it within You Only Live Once, then more power to you if you're playing along at home. Personally, I will not be doing so. Also, if you didn't get one earlier, then yes, you've got guaranteed hazmat suits here, so a good spot to pick them up if you want to. Couple of stealth boys, and Carrington's prototype, which is like, also a stealth boy, but like, a better one or something. So I am now down to, yes, uh, 30 hit points lost, which, to be honest, I'm gonna take two very light taps, just like, uh, two hit points at the beginning, and then that at the end I think was like a 6 or something, but it would have been more like maybe a 10 or a 12 if I hadn't been wearing the armor. And uh, to be honest, that's that's fair enough. I probably panicked too early and burnt my criticals uh, way earlier than I needed to, but what can you do, eh? That's gonna happen under stress. Now seriously, let's get the flip out of here because I am apparently completely exhausted. I need to get some sleep in. And as we step back outside, fortunately, yeah, we already fought the actual robots earlier, so as a result of that, we should be able to just step outside. No trouble. What? So, ever good. Just making sure nothing else had decided to uh, spawn in and be a dick. Because Deacon's still really close by, which is, you know, very, very unnerving. There's just a feral ghoul. Up there, by the way, that's all absolutely yeah, okay. And a handful of mines over in that direction, too. Okay, uh, sadly, I don't get the XP for the mission because, yeah, until I actually turn it in properly, uh, yeah, you just don't uh, get to see that. Right, back over to uh, Silenced, by the way. May as well just, uh, while I'm passing by, tag the supermarket because uh, never turn down a uh, free XP. Unless the free XP brings you too close to, you know, the raider with the nuke, in which case, like, you know, maybe actually do. Right, next step, the whole reason why we actually made this entire bloody journey, we need to start our uh, system of bases uh, making sense. So uh, head due north, and that's just a rock. It's fine. Uh, should be a pretty clear road uh, straight back up to uh, Starlight Drive-In, uh, where by now uh, we'll hopefully have a handful of settlers, because uh, I'm pretty sure I left the recruitment beacon on, or at least I hope I did, because uh, I meant to. Well, I'm definitely seeing a handful of people walking around, so that's good. Keep your distance from the middle, that's where the rads are. So, 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 so. What we need to do is start moving all my stuff down towards Hangman's Alley, and... We were looking for some place to make a new life, so here we are. There's also just a, a settler here, which is absolutely fine. Welcome. You're not actually staying here, by the way. You're going to be going to a different place, some place I'm about to send you. So, what we're going to be doing this guy is, yes, I will be taking your bottle caps, good sir. But what I'll be giving you in return is, uh, yes indeed, a giant flipping pile of junk. Here, have all of my junk, sir. Right, he still seems to have a tiny bit of weight left on him, because yes, I'm just going to be using him as a, a bit of a pack mule. So we're just going to be going over here and grabbing everything else good out of the workshop too. And now we give him all the stuff from the base too. So yeah, he's now got basically a giant pile of it. Hugely, hugely valuable junk from my recent adventure. And also, you know, just, oh, is he? No, he's not full up. Sorry, he's absolutely fine. Right, you, my friend, are now carrying a cocking gold mine. And that means you now need to be, yes, redirected. So down to Hangman's Alley, you go. So he gets up, he'll be on his way. And by the way, Preston, you'll be on the move too. We may as well move you down to uh, Hangman's Alley so you can meet me there later. Lovely. Now there might be... Uh, there might be some more people. I think I saw someone coming down from... Uh, no, you're sitting up top, aren't you? Well, that's just bloody inconvenient of you. Okay, there's just two of them around here for some reason. So, okay, you, my friend, you go to uh, Red Rocket, and then you, uh, you're going to... Excuse me, just just get get out of the way of this. Get out of the way of this guy and don't push me out of a window. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm wearing power armor. Uh, you're going uh, to Sanctuary Hills. So, uh, basically, I'm just distributing these people wherever they need to go to pick up supplies that I'm then going to be shipping down south. And you know what? I'll swing back here on the way back. So uh, what I'll do instead is uh, hop out the armor, leave it here for a moment. There's... 
There's someone on the road over there. No, no, not, not the turret. Who's... Who's that? Okay, just a settler. That's absolutely fine. And now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go and mop up all the flipping rest of it. So, yes, you can just stay here and work on that corn. To be honest, that's, that's fine if that's what you want to do. Ah, though, actually, Abernathy. Okay, never mind. You don't work on that corn anymore. What the... Let's do this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something, something's happening and I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Something's attacking me. What's attacking me? Oh, it's Cocky Blow. Bloody hell. Bloody cocky. Okay, just just a bloat fly out of cocky. Okay, that's that's not good for my state of calm to be attacked while I'm in cocky workshop mode game. I don't appreciate that. Okay, so back up through Concord, back to Red Rocket, just following the roads nice and safe. Just out of interest, how much stuff is actually here? Because I'm guessing it's probably... Oh, it's so little. Okay. I'll just carry this over to Sanctuary Hills. That's fine. I think I just sent someone to um to live here. So that's it's kind of unfortunate for them. They're going to have a very long, lonely existence here. But what can you do, eh? And here we go. Back to Sanctuary Hills. We haven't been here for bloody ages. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Everything's under control because uh, there's a few things uh, we need to do here. And in particular, number one is probably just... Uh, get some cocky sleep because I am uh, ridiculously, ridiculously tired. Okay, not hungry, not thirsty, and it is, uh, it's already late afternoon. Okay, best thing to do is probably just to sleep through 12 hours until the morning. That'll definitely get rid of any of my exhaustion. I'll be well rested, and uh, if we're lucky, fatigue might finally, cocking finally, uh, have worn off. Or it'll still be there and will be ill in a different way. Because sometimes Fallout 4 just sort of uh, hates you. So uh, everybody cross your fingers for not further illness. Instead... Oh, flip me. It's here. We've done it. We've actually done it. It's It's been seven days. Uh, and that means fatigue uh, has worn off. So we're no longer going to be chasing beds uh, quite so constantly. Which is, uh, which is very, very good indeed. So... Uh, have a drink, eat some food. This is all. Ah, Mama Murphy, you're part of the reason I came back. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. So yes, indeed, Mama Murphy will trade drugs for information. Now, depending on where you are in the game, she'll be giving you different bits of information. Some points, it's completely flipping useless. Sometimes, uh, it's really useful, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to come back here today, because uh, I'm going to give her her first hit. She asks for more and more drugs, getting harder and harder as time goes by. Give her five hits, she dies, and that's, you know, permanent, and everyone's really sad and annoyed about it. But, there are only three instances, uh, to my mind, uh, of her actually, you know, giving you really useful information. So, uh, if I just give her one hit right now, then we are going to be golden. Like a little kick yourself, huh? This'll do. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere. Deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. Phew, wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. And there we go. That's opened up a new speech option that's gonna be really, really bloody useful. Now, by any chance, has... Oh, hang on. Are you the new settler I just actually sent over here? Because you might be my friend. And... Hello over there. Yep, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's the guy I sent here. He got here overnight. So, uh, you, my friend, just stay where you are right now, because uh, I've got some stuff to give you. By which I mean literally all the local resources. 
And even better, this place is swimming in purified water, which I was getting a bit low on. So that there, that's bloody useful. Okay, took a couple of trips to do, but this guy has now been given literally all the stuff in Sanctuary Hills. And of course, by association, all the stuff in uh, Red Rocket. So that means you, my friend, uh, are now being sent to uh, Hangman's Alley. Enjoy being there, my friend. We'll also just be redirecting Sturgers too. And we can actually send, yeah, Jun Long. I couldn't remember who you couldn't, couldn't move. Because that has changed over uh, the course of... Uh-oh. Why have you got a gun out? Why have you got a gun out right now? I don't know, but I'm unnerved. Yeah, but sadly, Mama Murphy uh, cannot be moved. And uh, uh, Codsworth, we can move you. Just send you down to Hangman's Alley as well. May as well, quite frankly. Just send them over in that direction. Good. Good, 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 good. And... Uh, I mean, to be honest, Marcy... Marcy and Jun seem to hate each other. So Marcy can stay here. Jun can go live somewhere else. It's going to be great. Right, the new lads are already on their way. Next up, Abernathy. We just need to make our way over there. Hopefully, by now, the guy sent to Abernathy has arrived. It's a very short walk and I have been sleeping overnight. So we just go and pick up with him nice and quickly. Load him up with everything in Abernathy and send him down to Hangman's Alley too. And then I am going to have all the resources I could ever flipping want right there. Though, to be honest, I think I just heard a second ago. Oh, I'm hearing the defense is active, I think. Okay, this is mildly concerning. Is Abernathy under, not like proper formal attack, just somebody was nearby? Like maybe a, a raider or a dog? Or something. Well, someone was up top, but they seem to be... Everybody seems to be pretty chill for now, at least. So, hopefully we're golden. There's definitely gunfire nearby. Who is that? I don't know. I cannot see a source. Okay, that's all absolutely fine. Who's the new guy, by the way? It's you, marvellous. So, okay, what we need to do now is basically break down this here settlement and uh, we don't really need any of this stuff anymore and just be alert. There might be about to be some form of problem, potentially. Break everything down because constituent components are generally going to be lighter than actual items. Uh, just start uh, breaking all this nonsense down. To be honest, we don't really need uh, wood. Anything that's actually got, like, you know, good resources. Though, uh, I doubt this place is going to yield much to be honest, and didn't really mean to scrap that. Now this stuff, that's much flipping better. Well, what little there is, give to him and ship him down south. And with that, the convoy should be complete. That should be a huge, huge amount of really good quality materials heading down south in a hurry, waiting for me the next time I get home. Okay, start heading down south, but before we actually return to Hangman's Alley, there's one last thing we need to do. Part of the reason we did this trip at all, of course, which is Oberland Station needs to be helped out, which unexpectedly is not Backstreet Apparel. Instead, they want me to go and sort out Taffington, which can be Stingwings, which can be dangerous. Not Cazador dangerous, but, you know, dangerous. Still not to be trifled with. And just check we are... Yep, that's just Moss and Mikey. That's no problem over there, lovely. Look, man, I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. Having their never-ending conversation about, about the definition of a sandwich. Shine on, you crazy funsters. Instead, we can just, yeah, go a nice, safe route we've already cleared out. So, uh, back over to here. This was the path we went on at the beginning of, what was it, part four? Part five? Part four, I think. So, uh, Yes, we're just going to go down this way, join up with the road, go via Covenant, and this should all be cleared out. Because respawn rates are really, really low in survival mode. Though, admit I'm a bit concerned about my... Oh yeah, I wasn't 100% um, sure I killed all the mole rats in the next area. Okay, so yes, yes, I, I see the potential issue here. Maybe we just take it slow and steady for the moment. Oh, never mind, there's, there's Raider Scum down over there. How much Raider Scum? Because, to be honest, I wasn't really expecting you. I mean, just 
take his head clean off because I shan't say no to a dead raider. Only good raiders are dead raider. Brackets just a little bit. Maybe we just skirt around the outside of this. I'm a bit unnerved by what I'm seeing here. And actually, as I'm going to be passing close by to Covenant, I may as well go check out the shop while I'm passing by because, uh, yeah, as you can see there, my, uh, my ammo is looking worryingly low. Penny, you're an utter star. Right, take a drink on the way out. We're now golden, but yes, Taffington. So yeah, we should just be able to follow the road there directly, and uh, I'm nervous. I'm a little bit nervous about Taffington because, uh, yeah, seriously, that place can be, uh, that can be a bit scary. Taffington can most definitely be a bit scary, so stick close by to the town as far as you can, because uh, generally no creatures spawn too close to towns in case they, like, you know, uh, get confused, try and get inside, panic townsfolk, mess up quests in general, so uh, you should be pretty safe as long as you stay uh, fairly uh, close by uh, to the town, so just move in uh, nice and careful uh, and be ready uh, for the possibility of uh, sting wings, and by the way, I have, I have no crits. Good. Good, 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 good. I'm glad I've got literally no crits. That's, that's precisely what I wanted to see. Brackets, pretty still. Scan. We got mines. Uh, love bugs. I don't know if maybe at lower levels it's blood bugs that not sting wings. I mean, I won't say no to a nice free easy hit right over there. There's, I see you bastards. Okay, there's... It might be, you know. That might actually be what we're seeing here, which would be good. And Oh, you just walked into that mine. Didn't even realise you could do that, but I'm pretty happy about that. And you just took that. I mean, well done. Oh, yeah, it is. It's blood bugs, not sting wings. And uh, I could not be happier with that state of affairs. So, oh, they're kind of hard to hit, actually. Um, I'm just going to toss a grenade over there for that one. And then we're going to shoot you. One and... Uh-oh. Well, you're dead. Um, you're about to come in for an attack, aren't you? Yes, you are. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Go. Okay, I need something lighter. I need something lighter. I need something lighter. I'm in danger right now. There's one over there, but he hasn't woken up yet. Officially, I'm in danger. But what? What from? I do not like being in danger when I don't know the source. I really don't enjoy that. Caught. What was that? That was the music. That's fine. You're not actually one of the ones I need to, to kill. But to be honest, the fact you're there is unnerving me. So I've decided you need to die anyway. Now, I did have a shot at one of them. They're on the move. At least I've got my action points back. And I should have taken that shot, Vats. Because I still... I still don't have a crit, bloody hell. I need to trade out my hat for one that gives me luck. Like, if I could find a chef's hat, I would do that trade right now. Okay, maybe go over to uh, penetrating. And if I could find... Oh! I can see ya. I see them. In fact, they might be held kind of still by... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, are you going to stay trapped right where you are? Because I don't think you can get out. Oh, I don't think you can. Okay, now you're coming. Now you're coming. I mean, blood bugs are not... They're not nothing. They're not insignificant. But this is all manual shots. Do you know where I am well enough to start... Well, not really like um, blind firing, but like... Melee enemies will sometimes just start walking towards you if they have a, a concept of where you are. Just want to go. And it is blood bug, but I'm still a bit scared. Okay, if it's just one. Down from me. There's more down over there in the reservoir, by the way. But apparently I don't need to kill them for the mission. I mean, the fact that this is a mission is really nice because it means they are tagged. So I know them even if I don't have them on the compass. Because you don't. And uh, you're definitely on the ground floor right now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Where are you? No, you're not. Sorry, I'm completely wrong. You're the opposite of where I just said. Okay. So that's you a little bit hurt. And go! Go! Job done. Is that Taffington clear from bugs? Are we golden? Because 
I'm not really seeing much in the way of anything. And I'll be taking meat because uh, we have been eating into our meat supplies uh, a bit. And uh, this horribly, horribly... Ah, oh, that didn't provide any meat at all. Boo. Boo, I say. Right, well, I shan't say no. There we go. Taffington. The brackets just shuffled. I don't know the fact the brackets just shuffled. Don't know that at all. Can I have some more cow meat out of this horribly diseased, blatantly not good for eating cow? Well, you know what? I'll just be having that. And now, I just need to, uh, yes, report success. I didn't set up a beacon, right? That's not what you want me to do. No, they don't care about the beacon because I'm not building up this place for nobody. Instead, I'm returning to them and they're going to tell their friends or something. So we do not need beacons, which is good because I don't know whether there's local crystal. So while I'm actually here, wow, five wood, amazing. Nothing too dramatic upstairs, to be honest. First time I think we've seen uh, 50 cal ammunition, which is uh, of interest. So that's starting to actually spawn into the world. So uh, may as well just yeah, grab anything I could potentially break down down the line for copper, glass, etc. Anything just a bit more rare than just, say, uh, ceramic or wood or steel. We'll then just, uh, yeah, cook a bit of meat. That will all be absolutely fine. And then uh, time to be on our way back to Oberland Station because I believe if I've been keeping count correctly, uh, yeah, what I've just done is actually uh, rather important. Admittedly, the difficult bit's going to be... Oh, blimey, the weather's turning. Don't worry, you've got a hazmat suit just in case of emergencies. Uh, I need to cross back over to uh, the other side of... Oh, that's mole rats. No, 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 no. Never fight mole rats in the open field. Okay. I need to cross over to uh, the other side of uh, Lexington. I could go the really long way round. That's that's bloat flies, which I also don't don't want, and I don't like the look of. There's more bloat flies. This is everything's fine. Maybe just get back on the road uh, and just take it slow and careful back to town. If I can just make it back to College Square, we'll be golden. So this is, uh, this is all absolutely fine. By which I mean I'm walking into not cleared ghoul territory. Other than that, and it's all fine, everything's under control. It's, it's all going to be fine. Everything's fine. This is, I didn't actually plan this bit. I thought, well, this is fine. I literally need to walk past the safe roads. But no, no, as it turns out, not. Though I'll be helping myself too. What is nearly detecting me? Whatever it is, it's... Oh! There appears to be a raider camp here. That's... That's modestly... Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to loop round the, the longer way. The much longer way. Because seriously, no. So, uh, just keep on keeping on. And this is... That's, that's part of the university building, isn't it? Yes, or the college or whatever. Just avoid the cars. I really don't want to die to car physics right now because... Then I'd have to do pretty much all of this since uh, Sanctuary Hills again, which would not be fun. So let's just head down over here. This is... Hang on, if I if I cut through here... Yeah, welcome to survival mode where you actually need to uh, learn the map. Because otherwise this, this sort of stuff happens where you get a bit turned around because you're not sure. There we go, Brotherhood Base. Now, admittedly, the... That is Myalux. There's a handful of Myalux down there. I know there's Myalux in that flooded basement, which is not a problem because we're not going to be causing trouble with them. We're just going to go back to the Brotherhood base and from there, out the back alley, nice, safe territory we've been into before. Okay, this is, this is fine. Everything's under control aside from the fact I just needlessly walked through uncleared territory. Now, the fastest route would be to take the bridge via the Beantown Brewery, but sometimes that thing spawns enemies. So, uh, just watch it carefully before choosing whether or not to, to cross. Looks peaceful. What was that explosion? Anybody know what that explosion was? Because, uh, yes, that was, that was a real explosion somewhere. Everything's under control. I'm not sure I've actually tagged uh, the Beantown Brewery yet, so I shan't say no to uh, some lovely free XP. There we go. We're almost at level 18. This has been 
slow progress on the level front. Like, we've had episodes where I've got up, like, you know, four or five levels. This episode has been uh, a bit slower in that regard. And uh, we should now be close enough to... Yes, there we go. Only 70 meters away, we should be just fine. Because again, the games are going to spawn anything too close to Oberland because then they just run in and eat the women who live there. And that would potentially screw up a quest that you're doing. So, uh, yes, we should be safe now. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. You're flipping welcome. So, that there is the mission complete. Though, until I speak to uh, Preston, officially, that's not uh, done yet. And honestly, these guys... Uh, they don't really um have anything because they're just growing some, you know, potatoes out in the middle of nowhere. They've not got anything worth stealing. So we'll probably just actually, you know what? I'll gladly help myself to your water. That's um that's literally it. Your basic few possessions are not interesting to me. You can keep them. And when we say yes, check in with Preston, obviously Preston is now nice and close by. So we should be able to, uh, yes, mosey on down the coastline and just check in with him because uh, by now, hopefully, everybody else will have already shown up and uh, there's a crushed camper here. That's cute. I can't remember if I've ever actually uh, seen him before. That's lovely. Now, just sneak past Chaos Junction because obviously something bananas on toast is going to be happening there. So we're just going to be skirting around the outside of that. Do we know what it is? I'd like to know what the bananas is. That's a scavenger. That seems relatively low risk, but we'll just be uh, keeping our distance. I've already taken a couple of light taps today, and... I've just realised I left the power armour up north at Starlight. Okay, it was bad power armor. It's fine. We'll go and get some different, better power armor that's not like, you know, the basic stuff and half broken. It's fine. Let's... Can we just all agree I meant to do that? It would be really, really kind if you could confirm I completely meant to do that because it was bad power armor. So I meant to leave it there. You may think you overheard me saying things like, I'll come back and get this later on the way back and then didn't, but no. No, you'd be mistaken. It must have been like, you know, some form of a uh, glitch on YouTube because I definitely didn't say that. Now, 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 now. We'll get to you in a second, but it looks to me like we've got ourselves a... Uh, oh yeah, I think I recognize you lads. And oh my goodness, by any chance do you have literally all the junk in the world? I'll just be having all of that. And now over here in Hangman's Alley, this, this is what we've got, which as you can see is quite a flipping lot. And of course, the big one for now, we need to have a chat with uh, Preston for not one, but if I'm right, two things. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. There we go, I have now got five settlements on board, and as a result of that, Preston considers it is now time to retake the castle. Now, uh, I'm not sure we're gonna do that immediately, it's uh, got its own set of dangers to it, but it is very useful, if you can do it. Because once you've got Radio Freedom up and running, you don't need to actually bother, you know, going to Preston, getting a mission, going to see them, then going back to Preston to turn it in. Because if you get a mission over the radio, you can go and turn it in directly with the people who you took the mission from. So it saves you some time down the line. So uh, I'll meet you there, maybe not immediately, but like at some point. <coughs> And there we go, taking independence begins, and Preston just naffs off to the far side of Boston. I'm sure he'll be fine on the way. And finally, of course, yes, level 18. So, okay, 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 okay. There's, uh, there's a lot of good stuff we can take. Now I've got 10 million materials, uh, armor at two. But I feel like my armor's in a pretty good place already. Rifleman two, of course, that is... Uh, yeah, damage bypass and 20% more damage. So, uh, in real terms, that is more than 20% more damage. That's pretty good. Gunnut 2 is good, 
but I just kind of looked over the guns inside the menu of the actual uh, weapon crafting screen. I can't see anything I desperately want just yet. There's one thing that might be really nice, but not 100% sure about it. We do ever have, uh, yes, both Ninja 2 and uh, Critical Banker 2. And Critical Banker is uh, so valuable. So, so flipping valuable. Oh, that's... That's such a tricky one. And we still haven't taken Flipping Action Girl either. Oh, there's so much to flipping do. Okay, whatever I do next, it's not going to give me more than 20% bonus damage and additional armor bypass. So... I'm taking Rifleman 3 right now because I'd be foolish not to. There are some good things I might be able to do with guns, but... Well, okay, maybe Critical Banker 2 would have been better. I don't know, okay? I feel like, yes, 20% bonus damage under all circumstances. That cannot flipping hurt. So, as Preston just runs screaming out into the waste to go and take back the castle, we'll be uh, catching up with him in uh, some point or another. Not immediately, but uh, at some point it's... <laughs> So I'm fine. Also, by the way, in case you didn't yes. know this, your settlers do actually use the, um, uh, you know, weightlifting benches and stuff. So, uh, I mean, again, I'm just genuinely impressed. That's a really impressive skill that guy's got right there. I would say uh, that is enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, well, uh, at this point, the map's pretty much wide open to us. But I do have something in mind uh, I would like to start uh, working towards, shall we say. It's going to take a bit of setup to do. Though, yeah, I think I do have uh, something in mind. We're going to start getting out into the world, damn it. It's time for us to uh, stretch our wings a little. And uh, maybe, just maybe, if I can get the right amount of stuff set up, if I'm feeling, you know, uh, confident about what might happen afterwards, uh, we might even go uh, and have a chat with Preston Garvey uh, at the castle. Because uh, once that's done, oh, so much good stuff starts opening up. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a think, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, there are so, uh, so many things uh, that we could do now. The world is our flipping oyster. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see next week what I decide is going to be our top priority, because uh, there's so many ways you can go. Hopefully, uh, you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.